big Yemo Yan energy. That's all I know. Um, let me tag my baby. Let me tag my baby. My boo boo's about to have my baby. Why would Miss Kate? 9 11. That was Snoop Dogg. I thought my murder was the case. I wonder, can you save me? I can't die, my boo boo's about to have my baby. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Shout out to. Nef Nefertiti Avani. 216. Ohio making big moves out in LA. I mean, that's just amazing. Um, but. We're not here to talk about that. Just, we probably are. We're here to talk about a lot of things. Uh -huh. This is just kind of a loose, loosey-goosey kind of conversation in reference to... Well, no, it's loosey-goosey, but it's low-key kind of a celebration. It just don't got no format. Let me kind of, like, set the scene. Um, me and my wife, we started a company together called the Colombian Exchange. Um... And what we do is we sell ourselves all of the things that we do, all of the things that we're interested in, such as herbs. Um, I like to write. She likes to write. I like to study. She likes to study. Um, we travel. We do a little, everything together. Right. We run our business together. We take care of our children. We're very hands on with our children um, when it comes to like COVID. We was living like COVID for like three years before COVID even happened. So we we just very homeschool our children. We have a home-based business. We don't really ask anybody for anything, but we are always trying to do new things with our business. We love our business. We want our business to grow. Like when we started our business, we didn't ever have a idea of like money. Mm -mm. We just We just really wanted to understand business and when we don't make money in our business we don't give up like our as long as we're alive it'll be a part of us you know what i'm saying um now i say all of that to say is it is it greater for someone to choose not to be with someone to get their relationship with themselves solid um no it's not greater Cause you going like you don't want to leave out of a relationship to deal with yourself. That's bullshit. You stay in the relationship and you work it out. If you're fucking them, you don't fuck somebody and then say, you know what? This ain't working out. I'm gonna leave. That's bullshit. So whoever sells that, especially if you have children and you're fucking, you've already made a covenant. That's already your wife. That's already your husband. You may not be rich. You may and I walk down the aisle together. You're fucking. So work it out. Talk. Do shadow work. Learn together. Do things mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Figure the fucking shit out for the family. But that, I hope that answered your question. Because um, <laughs> um, that's what we do every day. Our relationship is not perfect. Our relationship is not easy. Mm -hmm. And we could have given up on each other 150 million times. Yep. We choose to love each other, to talk it out, to figure it out. I'll never give up on my wife because we fuck. So, um, speaking of fucking, um, <laughs> uh, we got such a wonderful journal for the ladies and... I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm just kind of setting it up for my wife so she can talk about her new journal and her planner that's out now. Well, pre-orders start today mm -hmm. uh, and it ships out November 1st. Mm -hmm. However, we just want to talk about it. Um, we want to change some of the narratives, um, some of the patriarchal thoughts in reference to what we are doing. Um, I'm gonna say a couple of things and I'm and you can interrupt me at any time, babe, but um just wanna get some shit off. Um men, it's cool for us to follow the moon, but women, 
there are no children but fucking is involved. Well, fucking leads to children. So who's to say if the times that you fucked, you would have got her pregnant or not pregnant, condom or no condom, the condom done broke. So that's irrelevant. You figure it out or you don't, you don't, you don't have, you don't make a covenant. Covenant is a wedding, reception, honeymoon, right? And then decide that it's not working out because you wouldn't make a covenant. So you went in backwards. Don't try to backtrack out of it. If I already did the what wedding, honeymoon, reception. So figure it out through communicating. Essentially, if a relationship is struggling, there is no open and honest communication. <coughs> so back to fucking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, um, men, it's okay for us to follow the moon because we not, we don't operate on a 28 day cycle. There is no 28 day hormonal cycle for men in general, nigga, you wake your ass up and start working your testosterone or your estrogen will take over and you pissy and more emotional than your girlfriend. So the reality is that women have a 28 day cycle that they can actually create their own world. Um, you ladies can manifest homes, lives, partners, but can you manifest peace of mind? Can you understand yourself? You can get a reading, you can get a nice job, you can get all of these existential things, but do you understand your emotions mm -hmm. through the modality of journaling? Now, my wife is very gifted. Another thing that I want to say, nothing that I do is solo dolo. If you see me on YouTube talking, it's probably because I'm working through some shit in my relationship. You're right. Think mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to communicate mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. so I can communicate to you. Mm -hmm. You are my motivation. Mm -hmm. You are my inspiration in everything I fucking do. Like you're the reason that I'm here in this moment. Right. So it's like, OK. Everything we do is one. So. When it comes to this book, it's no different. However, you put out this work. You 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 created this. This is your baby. This is your download. This is your contribution. And another major contribution, because you figured out a formula of not a yoni steam, but a womb steam right mm -hmm, to get mm -hmm, into mm -hmm. that energy of the <clears throat> womb and cleanse that energy as opposed to getting girls vagina wet so they could just you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm, half-ass mm -hmm. steams and pretty steams and things mm -hmm, of that nature mm -hmm. all a bunch of flowers and old ass roses made from monsanto gmos <laughs> we're not going to go there we're not here to talk about that but you <laughs> contribute you did a lot of healing work you've done. If everything that I've done, you've been my motivation, then everybody has talking to you or dealt with you. If they dealt with me, if they love me, they love you. So with that being said, this is a humdinger right here. You really kind of knocked it out the park <laughs> in many different ways. But then you put the onus back on the ladies to figure their shit out but you teaching them how to figure their shit out after this book you might not feel like you need a reading so much you may not feel like you need to do all of these existential things after this journal you might feel like you understand your emotions and everything isn't chaotic like you're following the moon right new moon full moon but you got a whole new moon, full moon internally mm -hmm. that you're not tuning into mm -hmm. and tapping mm -hmm. into. So mm -hmm. that was a fair introduction. <laughs> um, what do you have to say about womb? 
Um, what do you just want to say to the people? I mean, this is really about you. And um, I'm just so, because like, I ain't do nothing about this book. I just kind of observed it and just kind of understood it. And I'm just like, damn, this is a game changer for any woman that don't give a fuck about the world, but give a fuck about herself and how she feel and just can't fucking wrap their mind around it. Cause everybody is telling them you got to meditate. You got to do cartwheels. You got to spread your legs like this. Hold on. You, you wearing Uggs when you need to wear leggings, but see, you ain't getting the right leggings. You got to get these leggings and mm -hmm. get this hairstyle mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. is you natural see you can't be natural is you liberal feminist what girl don't you know you should be knowing this stuff and it's just like how confusing is that babe it's very confusing i mean like kind of what led me here was one a lot of conversations mm -hmm. um, where women did not know too much about their cycle and what I mean by that is they didn't know what happened before, after, or during their cycle. They just kind of knew that they cramped and then they bled, they was bitchy, it felt nasty, all of this. But what the actual meaning and what to do with it, um, because it's not just there for conception of a child i mean that is one of the greatest things but mm -hmm. it also has another purpose mm -hmm. and that's what i feel like we did with this journal mm -hmm. is give it that other purpose mm -hmm. uh, and reinventing, re, yeah, reinventing the way the period the menstrual cycle is looked at okay so i got a question mm -hmm. in your life as a mother you're 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 <clears throat> like in your 30s like mm -hmm. in your age range because i know it's like older women and little <clears throat> children that won't resonate exactly with this but women in in that area where they're having a regular 28 day cycle not just the menstruation period but the whole entire process that whole 28 day cycle mm -hmm. what's more important than understanding that that's just a just just give me an answer. There's nothing more. Important. There's nothing more important than that. How many people understand their twenty eight day cycle? Like in your opinion, through your understanding, we'll say all the women in the world will say twenty five percent. Twenty five percent, small percentage. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of people. If that's the most important thing to understand about yourself, because we didn't invent the concept. Mm -hmm. Like we're and not you know saying what? that we're not inventing. Let me take that back. Uh -huh. I'll say twenty five percent here. In America, mm -hmm. I feel I know I have a feeling that in other places, the cycle it is definitely um, a more celebrated and looked at differently than in different cultures. Correct. Yes. Um, and some, you know, it might be even look. Some cultures I do know is kind of frowned upon. You're not con you're considered unpeer during the mm -hmm. cycle. So, <clears throat> right. And that I feel like that's just kind of a man's view of it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's how the man looks at it because the man doesn't understand it. And if you bring your mind up under a man's mind in reference to your body, mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. going to be mm -hmm. like, oh, that's that's oh, mm. that's that's crazy to just think about. But here, I mean, the goddess had to be on you to put this information together because there's so many people because, yeah, the period is such a powerful aspect. But even the time before and after, I find that's the part, like the ovulation. Can you that's speak? That's kind of more of like, the yeah. important part. Yeah, it's talk before, to the ovulation real quick. <clears throat> it's before and the after. Um, because the shedding, the cycle is just the release. Mm -hmm. Because you, the egg was in um, fertilized. That's mm -hmm. the word I was looking for early, earlier, fertilized. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's just more of a release. But when you look at the phase, your first phase, which would be your, um, follicle phase, mm -hmm. and that's where the egg is right before ovulation, mm -hmm. um, where the egg is being prepared to be released. Um, and that energy that's surrounding that is kind of what's important. Right. And so... 
not every woman cycle falls along the moon cycle like the exactly moon, the there moon. you go there you go so what what we're doing with the journal is we are taking your internal womb cycle is what i like to call your womb phase and correlating that with the same energy as the moon so what we'll go with the first phase is um the follicle phase that goes with the um Wax and, moon. wax and moon and then you have your ovulation with your full moon and then you have your and then you have your um i can never pronounce this word L luther 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 vandros no yeah. <laughs> luther Luth is l-u-t-h-e-l-e -E something i can't mm -hmm. luther but vandros that is your um waning and then you have the last one, which um, it, it's the new moon. But what's the menstrual cycle? Oh, I'm glad I have it right here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's just the book, the journal is really just taking these phases. And because um, I think a real important part is that people would imagine that you're taking the moon. And you're your understanding, your you're understanding the menstruation from your moon. Mm -hmm. But no, mm -hmm. the moon, we understand the moon because of the woman. Mm -hmm. We don't mm -hmm. understand the woman because of the moon. The woman came first. So by studying the woman and understanding, well, not even the woman, the womb man, the man with the womb. Like man is just us as a species, mm -hmm, but the mm -hmm, carrier mm -hmm. of the womb is such an interesting topic that that's how you can understand the moon. So as a man, I can deal with the moon, but you, if the new moon is irrelevant if you don't understand your cycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But most people will bear witness to the moon cycles but wouldn't know nothing about their internal cycles. Mm -mm, and they'll want to really align with the moon cycles when... Facts. You, we have our internal moon cycles, so you're sitting up there getting frustrated trying to figure out why you're not on the full moon. Right. And so-and-so goddess said that you're supposed to... Do this <coughs> and that. Be lined up with the full moon so you can do your work on the full moon. Right. No, that's not but how your internal... Unless you are, unless your foot, like you could be aligned yeah, with the no, moon cycle. Yeah. But if you're not, that don't mean like every, like the same way, do women wear the same clothes? No. <laughs> do y'all wear to have the same hairstyles? Oh. So y'all ain't going to have the same cycles. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Y'all can sync mm -mm. up. Mm -hmm. But at the same mm -hmm. time, understanding your own energy first is kind of the goal of the journal mm -hmm. and it's very mm -hmm. detailed but you're about to show something or say something oh no uh -uh, no mm. i was just getting this part out mm -hmm. um, but show them how it like how it lines up so they can get a visual i don't know, I don't know. yeah uh, yeah hold on you can hold it just like that and i'll do the camera work boom so can you see this? Can you read it to them now? Or um, So you have the full moon going with the ovulation. Well, let's start at the first phase. Mm -hmm. So that would be your menstruation. Your menstruation starts it off. Right. Menstruation goes with the new moon. Then you work, <coughs> excuse me, work your way over to the, I want to say the follicle with the waning moon. Is waxing. That, uh, waxing. Yeah, mm -hmm. waxing moon, and then you move up to your ovulation, uh, working with the, your full moon, and then you're over to your uh, let nail stay phase, which is your waning moon, and then you start back over to your menstruation. Uh, the menstruation, your menstruation st is day one. It starts off your cycle. Mm -hmm. So, with the journal, um, we talk about the energies that are associated with these times um so for example your menstruation the new moon we all know is the time to set intentions um so when you start your cycle is a time to set your intentions and, but the problem is though people pissed off yeah you mad <laughs> you mad right before you start your cycle 
Mm -hmm. And that's the time you really should be changing your mindset into being more positive. Start, okay, what do I want coming up in this in this next cycle? Uh, what do I want to release? And that's, you know, literally the phase before, and we'll talk about that. But, um, thing I just drew a blank. Mm hmm but yeah, the t the a few days with um, when you start your menses is a good, is the best time to set your intentions, which would be your new moon cycle, um, or your new moon phase. It don't matter where the moon is actually at in at that time because we're not really the moon is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. This book is not mm -hmm. like basically fuck the moon. Basically, yep. Fuck the moon. Yep. Learn yourself first, cause y'all know everything about the moon. But when it comes to yourself, it's like, um, what is y'all talking about again? What 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 phase is what's happening? But if we talk about a new moon, everybody tuned in and tapped in. So the goal with this journal is a very personal journal. Mm -hmm, it's very mm -hmm. straight to the point. But at the same time, it's to help you learn your, yourself at a cycle. But it's more, it's way more, not way more to it, but it's more detail in a journal that's going to help you bring some understanding and alignment to your cycle. Mm -hmm. Very important. Once again, what's more important than understanding your cycle? Nothing. <laughs> but everybody knows everything else. So yep. that's the value of the journal. Yep. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, so we just kind of deep dive and what to do with every um, every phase but the one thing that I can say that I, I honestly think is the best part of this journal is something that my husband came up with um, and that's the seven hermetic womb principles um, taken after this um, seven hermetic um, is it, are they called universal laws? laws. Yeah, universal laws. Um, but we've taken it and geared it for your womb, for reconnecting with your womb. Um, I don't know. It's just, there's something about these seven laws that, like when I was reading through them, when he before he we put this together, I was like, okay, yep, this is it. And it's like with the first with the first law is the law of womanism. All is womb. Everything that exists comes from the womb. All of creation started at the womb. The womb creates the mind and everything else that comes from the mind. The womb is all. Mastering the womb means mastering the mind and mastering life as a whole. Your thoughts affect your reality, but your womb affects your thoughts. And like for me, that part, like that, that sentence right there is mastering the mastering the womb means mastering the mind and mastering life as a whole. So we know that our womb holds and houses a lot of things, but our womb and our mind are connected. So our emotions, it's like if you're more emotional during your cycle, you probably might bleed more or your cycle will be prolonged or your cycle will be late. So there, there, there's a connection there. So when we master our, our wounds, we're mastering our minds. And to me, this is this is the first law, and this is this is one of the most I don't know one of the most important. Just like that little sentence right there. Mm -hmm. um, I can't even say it. it's a couple of sentences. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to go over all the laws. Because they go have to buy the goddamn journal. Because what's the point of telling y'all everything that's in there? However, yeah. it's very much... I'm going to do this one. Go ahead. Um, the law of cause and effect. There is no coincidences. For every outcome, positive or negative, there was a cause. When we attune to the health of our womb, body, and soul, we are causing perfection to take place in our lives. When we attune to health to the health of our womb, body, and soul, we are causing perfection to take place in our lives. For every action, there is a reaction. For every effect, there is a cause. You will make more thoughtful choices regarding what comes into your womb and what comes out when you know and understand the power you have. 
I'm going to read that one again. Mm -hmm. You will make more thoughtful choices regarding what comes into your womb and what comes out when you know and understand the power you have. You may feel like you have no control because you don't feel powerful. However, power of your life starts with the womb. I am the cause. It's like, man. Yeah. <laughs> Those those laws are those principles, excuse me, are life changing. Like in my mind, that's what the laws are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then men came and said, mm -hmm. "Oh hell no, we can't have mm -hmm. it." Like the womb ain't shit. Um, the womb is bullshit. All is mm -hmm. mine, and mm -hmm. the mind is mm -hmm. all. And mm -hmm. then we have our goddesses. We have our goddesses saying the things that the men have put down mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. they're you know they're learning it they're absorbing it they know the seven universal laws better than a man do mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you got to take into effect if you're in college if you're in school your mind is impressionable and this is when people lie to you mm -hmm, if you're new mm -hmm. to information conscious people are big liars okay they all tapped into a particular algorithm and you lucky to find them and the real motherfuckers that's putting in the work, it's easy for YouTube to just block you and shadow ban you. And I say all of this to say the deeper reason is that you got all of this goodness within yourself, all of this understanding within yourself, but then you read white boy words as Bible. And black people still have not gotten out of this. Black women champion white man words than more than anybody. Mm -hmm. And the problem is you have to champion your understanding of your reproductive system because the reproductive system creates not life, but reality. Mm -hmm. And even yours right mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. your emotions your mm -hmm. cycle mm -hmm. when you understand it when this becomes your priority when this becomes your focus then you are at in control mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. world is not going to tell you that you got the power within you because it wants you to bow down <laughs> yeah it wants you to outsource it to them it wants you to work for them it wants you to absorb their energy and you can yep. sit there with all of the power <laughs> within you and still feel like you need to be validated by a man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know mm -hmm. when I seen them laws. It didn't say it. It didn't read. It's almost like I looked at the Kabbalion. It's almost like I looked at the seven hermetic principles. And it wasn't hermetic no more. It was her medic. Her healing. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it wasn't the all is mind. It was the all is womb. And I was like, no, that that's that's it right there. I said, babe, this 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 book, this book is a thing. Yep. And so I do all of the shit that I do, but once I'm done doing the shit that I do, we talking about this book, we working on this book, we processing this book. We've been working on this book for about eighteen months. Cause it started off like this it started off something completely different. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it just manifested into this. And mm -hmm. it's like, because my overall goal is to help women understand their womb. And myself included, to understand my womb and the power it holds. And I have to share this. Like, I couldn't, once we started rolling, it was like, okay, we got to, we got to figure, we got to share this. Mm -hmm. We got to share this. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, so here we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I just think like it's the best thing that we've ever done. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the book. And it's just like, I came, you like, we done something. Yeah. We figured something out. And, you know, anybody that is having a menstruation should have this book, right? You should understand your cycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like I speak a lot about womb health mm -hmm. and this journal and it's womb health. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's not something you need to do every single day. 
but it's something that you need to do every phase. Yeah, you got to be aware of it every phase, yep. every time it shifts. Yep. Yes. You have to be honest with yourself when you're journaling. Yes. Even outside of this journal, anytime mm -hmm. you journal, you got to be honest with yourself. That's the only time, the only time you are going to make progress. Another thing that I've realized over this month is that we thinking all the fucking time, right? Mm -hmm. We thinking about this, mm -hmm. we thinking about that. Mm -hmm. And the analogy that I was talking to Sabine is like we play tennis with our thoughts. We think about this, mm -hmm. we think we want something, we think about the most positive thing in the world, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, mm -hmm. well, no, that ain't going to happen mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. something bad mm -hmm. going to happen to block it or mm -hmm. I got haters and this, that, mm -hmm. and the third. And we mm -hmm. go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So... I say all of that to say, if you're not journaling, you know, you, 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 you go and you playing tennis in your mind and you feel like, you know, tennis is a game. Mm -hmm. You can win at tennis, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But your mind ain't a game, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Your mind deserves peace. Your, mm -hmm. your, mm -hmm. your mind deserves mm -hmm. gnosis. Mm -hmm. And we can read every single, and trust me, I'll read white boy books. I'm not bashing white boy books. I'm, I'm reading white boy books all the time. But at the same time, uh, for my wife and the women out there, it's time for the goddess to rise. And y'all need to read yourselves. That's mm -hmm, the reality. Mm -hmm. And um, we pre-order, we're doing pre-orders now. It's done. Um, the book gets sent out. We're just kind of editing and kind of yeah. making sure that is perfect for y'all we want it to be absolutely perfect mm -hmm. so like because y'all are absolutely perfect like yo what i mean by absolutely perfect you created a child sis you are, if you have you have the capability you have the capabilities too. you have the mm -hmm. system to do mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you are perfect mm -hmm. You may not have the perfect body, but what is the perfect body? You may not, you may have blemishes, you may have heartbreaks, but you can produce life. You need to tap into that system. You need to get off the bullshit. Because a motherfucker will flim flam you, skim scam you, mumbo jumbo you to death out here in these streets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will talk you your ears off and then they'll tell you to your face, I don't know what the fuck is happening out here. Ain't you supposed to be my spiritual leader? Ain't you supposed to be my guru? How are you confused? No, because the reality is that we're shifting to becoming gods. Mm -hmm. And becoming gods is understanding our reproductive system. So, men, you can master different things within your sexual relationship with your wife, different techniques, different restraints and things of that nature. But you can't be lusty for your wife, especially throughout the day. We got testosterone. It's work to be doing. And if you got a wife, you got to support her. Like, I see my wife. You don't, y'all don't know. This book was about to be goddamn PhD level. <laughs> I swear to God, she was about to fucking. <laughs> y'all wasn't ready for this. And that's still coming. But yeah, the was. book, the book is scholar PhD level. Yeah. But we scaled that bitch down because we want everybody to read it. So don't ever get it twisted. My wife works so fucking hard for this book. Like so hard. So y'all just got to understand that the energy in this work is so for for y'all. And I think like now we going into a time where the goddess is rising mm -hmm. and we're trying to find mm -hmm. where the goddess at. How she going to come? Mm -hmm. She gonna mm -hmm. come through your reproduction system. Mm -hmm. She gonna come through mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. manifestation. She mm -hmm. gonna come through mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. healed relationship with your partner, your healed relationship with your children, your healed relationship with your finances, your healed relationship with your emotions, your healed relationships with your disorder, your healed relationships with your iniquity, your healed relationships with patriarchy, your healed relationships with feminism, your healed relationships with all of these ideologies that you absorb because you do not tune into your goddess energy which is your reproductive system even if you do not have a child it still operates at a 28 day cycle like clockwork mm -hmm. and it's not a negative situation mm -mm. Mm -mm. and it's like they mess us up when they put us on suggesting putting us on birth control Facts. and we're taking it and we're getting the IUDs and 
isn't that disrupting your hormones? Yes. Okay. And it's like, I don't want to be like the person but like, no, don't get it. No, don't get it. But except, still don't get the day, it. Don't yeah, get it's it. your choice. But it's like you are doing a lot of damage to yourself. It's like if you're not ready for kids, don't don't have sex or mm -hmm. figure something else out. Yeah. Because if you're and if you're taking birth control for something else other than birth control, stop taking it now. Yeah, and that's figure crazy. you have to figure something else out because birth control is literally to stop having a child. And that's not even 100%. But through disrupting your hormones. Yep. That's the whole purpose yep. of why you can't it's adding, have children. Yep, it's adding hormones. So it's like, if you're taking, if you're on birth control for any other reason than not, than to having a, not having a baby, stop taking birth control and find something else. Go dive deeper into what your diagnosis is because birth control is just for that. No. There are herbal birth controls. There are a lot of different things that you can do. Yeah. But... It's so crazy. Aaliyah just said you have to know your body, right? Mm -hmm. And just think about how powerful you are with a man when you know your body, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Versus mm -hmm. you don't know your body. And mm -hmm. I was at the studio today and we was talking about how we can talk our way into like having sex like a man has the power and i know i got this power like when i was out and like at the club and shit like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i could say stuff like i could say stuff like you know like certain shit like like let's let's go fuck right now and she'll be so like that'll just throw her off so crazy mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, she'll mm -hmm. just be captivated it's almost like it's, you don't have no defense for my wordplay. Mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. not even the most wordiest type of dude. Man, that's a, damn, that's kind of crazy. Um, but let's let's digress. Um, so, <laughs> damn. Um, <laughs> um, no, but the whole point is that you only can do that because a woman doesn't know her body. Mm -hmm. But when she knows mm -hmm. her body, you can't trick her out of that. Mm -mm. Her cycle in her womb it's like jesse was the best thing that ever happened to us because it taught us to practice safe sex because we're not having a fifth kid mm -hmm. i don't give a f not right now <laughs> so nope. there's no semen in the womb nope. and that's such a beautiful experience like mm -hmm. i love even the fact like i love that even it's it's, it's been a, it's been a little over a year mm. And that you haven't ejaculated inside of me, came inside of me, whatever you want to say. And cream pie, whatever. <laughs> Even like my mind is different, like my body is different. Mm -hmm. And it's like I kind of feel like I, I desire you more, mm -hmm. of course. Yes, yes, yes. Than... But that's the whole, yes, that's that's and so that's it's the like, key. so it's like when he's saying it's like I don't want to pull out because it feels good, but. Wouldn't it feel even better if, if I desired you more? Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you have a partner and he just shooting up the club, mm -hmm. y'all need, have, need, <laughs> need to have a sit down conversation and be like, look. Or if you like random damn them and um, tender, tender benders. Oh, no, sis, that can't go down no more. It's just got to be a policy. Like, because... It's like, um, I don't know. It's like you wrote a whole masterpiece. Like, and you got a couple books left. Like, you got other shit cooking. And it's like, we got our children. We got other shit that we're doing. Like, this isn't our 100% focus. Mm -mm. But, man, we just do that shit. And even now, we're doing this video in the car because our babies is asleep now. Meaning that... Like, I don't know how we do anything. We do it because we do it. Mm -hmm, we do mm -hmm, that shit. Mm -hmm, Every mm -hmm. day we doing shit. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, we ain't, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's like I love the fact that we are the way we are. And we're just. Like, I couldn't see it yeah, no other way. Yeah, I couldn't imagine it any uh -uh. other way. It's just real. Mm -hmm. It's just raw. It's just us. And we ain't, we ain't, we are who we are. And we are one. And um, 
and I and and you just put so much work into this and I'm just so like happy for our business. I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you got something to talk about for the next five years. <laughs> I'm I'm happy that every woman that you come across, you can say, Hey, let me tell you something about yourself, goddess. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. that to me is like mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like I've when I got my book, I cried. And I know for you, you probably gonna cry too. <laughs> I've already shared a couple of yeah, things. I ain't gonna lie. It's it's <laughs> it's powerful. It and is, and that's the thing, like it makes sense. It ain't weird. It ain't it ain't mumbo jumbo. Mm -mm. Yo, anybody can mm -mm. read it. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. And you can do it when you're pregnant, yes. when you don't have a cycle. Yes. Um so it's 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 not limiting. No. Um and it's something that you can teach your daughters. If you have young daughters who are on their cycle, it's something that you can teach them. Yeah, if you're a father and you got a daughter that's on her cycle and you don't know how to talk to her about it. This is how. Boy, you got an icebreaker of all icebreakers. Because she's going to look at it, she's going to read it, and she's going to understand it. And now her menstrual cycle mm -hmm. ain't the boogeyman mm -hmm. no more. So you first introduce her to the hermetic laws. Yes. Because sometimes talking yes. to your father might be a little... Y'all both can get down on yep. that. Introduce her to the seven hermetic uh, womb principles and go from there. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, she'll See, take but it think from about there. <laughs> think about how powerful that is. I'm getting emotional. I am too. Think <laughs> about how powerful it is for a father to talk to his daughter about the power that she holds mm -hmm, mm -hmm, without mm -hmm, her mm -hmm. having to go through the bullshit. But and even and it's like that will change her relationship that she'll have with men. Is that exactly. they're being he, her father is being open like that, mm -hmm. and so she's going to be able to be like, all right, I'm keep my legs closed until I meet my husband, and then she's going to be able to have open communication with her husband, and it's like you're going to have these, and not to say it's going to be perfect because mm -hmm. they know it's, but uh, they're going to be able to have open in the door, yep. and it's a way where there was no way, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, and. Mm -hmm. We are just out here swinging. We like motherfuckers is talking about this and that all day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This ain't this, nor is it that. Mm -mm, it's specific mm -mm, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. a twenty-eight day cycle. That if you're not going to take it seriously, then essentially it's going to take you seriously. Your hormones and your emotions have not come to play with your ass. They will not play with your ass yep. and you keep running from them. And this is where certain energies will manifest as pains. Yep. It's like there's so many people that I have ran across in my entire life that like, oh, yeah, I was at like even. OK, started high school. Mm -hmm. I started my, my cycle. I was in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stay home. There was no, no, I was in pain. I went to school. There's been times where I, I bled out on myself and like I was so embarrassed. And mm -hmm. it was like nobody said anything. Mm -hmm. But it was just like as a young child, like it's like, okay, like what the heck? Mm -hmm. And it's like getting to high school. Girls don't come to school because they're on their cycle. They start their cycle. Mm -hmm. and it's But like, you never hear that as an excuse or a reason why people ain't go to school. It's like, oh, she just sick. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. And it's like if they're your close friends and you know. But it's like, and then college, same thing. When Even when you're in the workplace, women call off. And it's like, mm -mm -mm -mm. no. Mm. If you have the off time, if you have the downtime to where you can rest, yes. But it's a time to be kind of planning and organizing and really just starting over, starting fresh. Mm. Not the time to be, I mean, I mean, yes, it can be painful, but that's when you start steaming. You get you a herbal regimen in. Um, you start exercising, yoga, drinking plenty of water. Fiber, digestion. Yep. So it's like there's. I there's, wonder if there's a connection between pain and digestion. I need hmm. to look that up. Hmm. Might I, I know, know there's a there is a relation between your menstruation and digestion. I, I will well, not I'm, digestion, but like being um, backed up. That yeah, that but also uh, diarrhea because the, oh wow the <laughs> the signals that your womb your womb gives off for it's that is ready to shed is uh -huh. the same ones that gives off for when, diarrhea yep, makes when sense. your body has to expel mm. toxins mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's just kind of the 
The same thing. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's that's interesting. But I would say, like, right, I seen this comment where this person was like, I'm on my period right now, and I'm so mad, and I'm so frustrated. And then there was, like, some other shit. And it was like, that just was the energy. And that's the energy that you give. And that's the energy that you were taught to give. And it's like, it, it makes me mad. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I can't say anything because there's been times, it's like, I understand that emotional peak, that emotional rises. Mm -hmm. That emotional rises when you are on your cycle. Mm -hmm. um, especially if it is a more painful one. Mm -hmm. um, so I understand that. But it's like, when you tell yourself that you're mad, that you're frustrated, that you're on your cycle, then guess what's about to happen to you for the rest of those 28 fucking days? Mm. You about to have some shitty time. Mm. More than if you would be like, all right, I'm on my cycle. It's Let's... time to do some work. Yep. Permanent. And I you're guarantee doing. you, if you, have, if you have the mindset of more negative when you're on your cycle, your next cycle, I guarantee you, if you have a more positive mindset and don't even more so think about the pain... I guarantee your month will be different. Guarantee your month will be different. That's the power of it. Nope. That's the power of it. Nope. It's like... Well, this was kind of like a little... I teaser get, tester yeah, I, think I think you're like doing that intro yeah 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 because you said you was going to do an introduction yeah I will be, be sure going. to follow the goddess i'm gonna put her um pin her everybody get up on her ig yeah i'll be going follow live, her um in the morning mm -hmm. um and this is something that i will be doing consistently um for I don't know. For a long time. Yeah, um, I mean. And it's talking about this. Um, and then once it comes out, answering questions and just having discussions. But tomorrow morning, I'll be going. I'll be talking about the first um, hermetic wound principle. Um, and really just kind of deep diving into that. Um, when we talk about any of the moon phases tomorrow, mm -hmm. but just more so about the principles, because like I really think those are important, mm -hmm. important to share. Um, and it's like I've never heard of wound principles. I've never heard of anything of that nature, and so it's just like I think it's that time. I think yeah. it's that time for you to elevate. I think it's that time for people to, you know, give you your flowers and give you your ashe because people always talking about me. Oh, hood, I love you. I love you. No, you love us, fam, because it ain't no me. No, like it never have been. I, if anybody ever watched my videos, I tell them this shit all the time. But, you know, maybe, you know, while you on tour... With Oprah and Gail and all of them, you feel me? Hey, I'll that be man back. Told me I look like Oprah I know, today. I know. I was like, he's like, yeah, somebody. I know. Anybody ever told you you look like Oprah? Listen, look, no? listen. Anybody know Oprah? Anybody know Gail? Tell her Mama Mystic is out you, here, y is out here on these streets, and you know Kyrie is gonna be back with the kids playing rough and tumble. No, we gonna have a nanny. Forget that. Uh -oh. No, tell <laughs> you're me. gonna be right, right alongside. Uh -oh. Hey, like that one guy says. That the kids like Oprah, I, stop stop staring at me. You try to stop doing that, <laughs> Oprah. If I can't bring my husband and my kids, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> like flat out. Like it's a family affair up in here. No. Uh, but yeah. I'm I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Love and you. this <laughs> book, this journal is fucking hot. Like it's sexy. It's fucking everything. And motherfuckers are not ready for you. Motherfuckers are not ready for this healing. Mm -mm. Motherfuckers mm -mm. are not ready for this clarity. Mm -mm. Motherfuckers mm -mm. are not ready for their hormones to be understood. Their cycle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. beyond the menstruation to be fully embraced and mm -hmm. fully honored. Because mm -hmm. you should be fully embraced and fully honored. 
That's like everybody who talks about manifestation and mm-hmm. talks about getting your mind right, mm-hmm. talks about healing, but I very, very rarely see anybody talking about healing their womb, and that is the first thing that as women, and especially as women, not so much for the men, but as women, healing our wombs is like the That's key. The, the first step. Mm-hmm. The first That's key. first step, and then you would be able to heal your mind. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's a simultaneous thing. Um, it's like if you're so smart, right? You got all the book knowledge, but you still hurt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's going to manifest as hurt. Mm-hmm. And it's like you can talk about manifesting and being positive mm-hmm. and changing your outlook all you want to, but doing reading, social media, planners, and business coaches and life coaches, but really, the goddess is saying, uh, uh-uh. uh. Let's you was born mind. perfect, sis. Mm-hmm. You gonna die perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are perfect. You just gotta recognize it. But where mm-hmm. do you find your perfection? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can find it externally, I guess. But let's deal with the real to real. You, I don't care. The baby mamas, the hood rats, whatever they want to call you. Baby y'all need perfect. It. Yep, hood rats need it. Mm-hmm. Y'all already in the. Y'all already in the zone. Y'all can do something that can't no man do. And men live their lives trying to trick you out of this shit. I'm just fortunate enough to be tuned in and tapped in to source to mm-hmm. not be a part of mm-hmm. what these niggas is on. I'm grateful and most fortunate for my ancestors I'm to not give me the well. lust of a nigga. Mm-hmm. You Thank feel you. me? Thank you, ancestors. Um, <laughs> because the lust of a nigga is like, I feel sorry for y'all. Man. Because y'all really will be turned out on... Is that even a what? Oh, Lord. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, because like, I know for a fact that that is coming with this book. And no, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. uh-huh. No. No, uh, no. No. See, this I is know for, for the pure... This is for the pure heart. And um, I love it. Because we here for all of the mm-hmm. smoke. Mm-hmm. And all of the mm-hmm. divine goddess energy. Because... Enough is enough. Yep. yep. And the real is here. The real been here. But in case y'all didn't know, we about to be a little bit more persistent than we have been. We about to go a little bit more harder than we've been going. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We going to tune mm-hmm. in and tap into this mission and support our mother and her growth and development out here in these streets and um because that's that's where it's at right now you know um like yeah it has to be because goddess empowerment yep it's like like we said earlier once we as women collectively realize healing our wounds things changes for everybody yes things change for everybody yes and i can't never say i can't stress this enough everything that i've ever done is through this healing process, this mm-hmm. healing journey. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. something about having a woman that is healing. No matter what we go through, you don't trade that in. So you might feel like the issue was external. And maybe it's just not an issue. It's just a reality. And it's so much positivity waiting for you. Once you really tune in and tap into your positive energy. Now, the keys that we want to bring forth is having this book is not an end all be all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would Mm -hmm. have to be active in journaling. So the reason why I'm saying that is because if you don't realize how important it is to journal with or without the book, like in reference to this conversation, your ass can actually start journaling it. You could piece together the information that we put forth a little bit and start doing some work already mm-hmm. in reference to building a relationship with your womb. Don't wait for the book. And if you can't afford it, that don't mean that this shit is not for you. This at the end of the day, we got four children. We out here in these streets. You feel me? We going to get our fucking bag. Now you can support the motherfucking cause mm-hmm. or not. We're still, it's still important for you to tune into your womb, mm-hmm. whether you tune in and tap into the product or not. Mm-hmm. What we saying is mm-hmm. fact the mundo for every woman bar none. Now the the concept 
doesn't escape no one. Mm -hmm. The tool, it makes it easier and essentially is a nine month journal. Mm -hmm. You might use it every, you might use it nine months straight or you might use it for three cycles and then come back to it for another cycle or you it's a whole variety of ways that people will use it however it's an essential tool to learn in your cycle if you never heard of this or if you are a father looking to buy a thoughtful gift to a young lady or if you are trying to have a child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You mm -hmm. fucking all different types of times. Right. <laughs> Why wouldn't you know exactly when y'all ovulate? And so y'all can get a hotel room. Y'all could foreplay the whole day. Y'all could do a little edging. Right. And fella, you not jacking off at all for two weeks. Right. You saving that up. So in that obvious your herbal supplements. Listen, you taking your balderberry tea, she taking her fray of fresh. Mm hmm Getting that uterine energy tightened and expanded at all at the same time. It's just getting your raspberry leaf in. You planning for a child, right? No, oh y'all just fucking and just oh I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we'll see y'all later. My, follow my wife. Delete the, her, 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 her um, IG handle is pinned. Please follow her because um, tomorrow she'll be getting into the first law of the hermetic, hermetic womb principles. The womb is all. Peace. Peace.